Hello everyone. The channel has reached 1000 subscribers and I'm very happy about it. Thank you to everyone who watches my videos and subscribes to the channel. The next goal is 3000 subscribers, and once that happens I'll hold a giveaway for you all. Now let's get to the point of the video. Are you a beginner in this game and don't have any tier 10 tanks yet? Or perhaps you've been playing for a while and have thousands of battles under your belt, but you're not satisfied with the number of top tier tanks in your garage. This is a common problem for most players, but once you start following the advice in this video, tank progression will no longer be a problem for you. I have two accounts, one of which I've almost fully progressed with tier 10 tanks, while on the second account I've buy three top tier tanks in less than 600 battles, and there's another one on the way. This is Swetchman, let's go. Let's start with the basics. In the game we have three main currencies. The first currency is credits which we earn after each battle. It is used to purchase tanks and their equipment. The second currency is gold, which is quite difficult to obtain for free. But it's possible. With gold we can buy everything. Credits, free experience, premium tanks and much more. I'll talk about how to farm credits and gold in another video. And the third currency is free experience, which we can use to research tank modules unlock tanks themselves, and open New Year containers to get premium tanks for free. We also have secondary currency which is regular experience. Like credits we earn it in every battle. But what exactly do we earn it for and how does the game calculate how much experience to give to each player? The most important factors in battle are damage and the number of kills. That's where you'll earn the most experience but there are many nuances as well. For example if you're playing against tanks of higher tiers than yours don't despair you'll actually earn more experience than in battles where you were at the top of the list. It's also worth mentioning damage to modules. If you frequently set enemies on fire, broke tracks, or even detonate their ammo rack, you'll receive additional experience for that. Additional experience is also given for capturing or defending the base, being the first to spot enemies at the beginning of the battle, and surviving in battle. I also recommend playing with a premium account, as it allows you to earn 50% more experience per battle compared to playing without it. You can also check how much free experience you've earned in a battle and for what achievements. To do this, you need to open this menu in After Battle Statistics. I recommend checking this statistics more often to understand the principles of the game clearly. Now the first piece of advice is related to free experience. Don't waste your free experience. You should use this currency wisely because farming free experience is not easy. You can't just throw it around left and right. Don't spend free experience on researching tanks. I recommend using it only to research modules. The most important thing when buying a new tank is to get it to the top configuration as soon as possible. After that, you can easily farm experience on it and progress to the next tier tank. The second advice follows from the first one. Don't unlock all tank modules. Sometimes you only need to research the turret and the gun to progress to the next tank so you don't have to research other modules like tracks and engines. However, this doesn't apply to all tanks. For example, if you have an 8 or 9 tier tank and it requires a lot of experience to progress to the next tank, but your tank performs poorly without an engine, then you can research it to avoid suffering. But there are times when an engine is very expensive and doesn't significantly improve the tank's performance. In such cases, it's not worth spending precious experience and time on it. Just endure it until the next tank. Now let's talk about the most effective methods for quickly farming free and regular experience. Let's start with the basic advice. Use boosters. I think every player knows what they are, but even so, many are reluctant to use them and save them for emergencies. Don't do that. Always use boosters when progressing tanks and earning XP multipliers. As for XP multipliers, you should also use them. In the game, you have the opportunity to earn X2 experience for the first victory twice a day. But that's not the most important part. Sometimes on various special dates the developers activate X3, X4 or even X5 experience for the first victory. This is an excellent way to farm a large amount of free experience. Activate boosters, and with a premium account, earn those multipliers on all the tanks in your garage. The higher the tank's tier, the more free experience you'll receive. Sometimes developers treat us with ultimate multipliers. This means you can earn the multipliers on one tank. Here's how it works. If you have 6 tier 9 tanks in your garage, you can earn X5 experience 6 times on one of them. 
In that case, I strongly recommend using the X5 multiplier on the tank whose tech tree you're progressing through. This way, you can progress through multiple branches in one day, and I'm not exaggerating. Another important point is to open free containers on time. You can open three of them daily, but you can also open three more for 60,000 credits each. I recommend not being stingy and opening six containers every day, because they can drop many useful items and gold is not uncommon. Also, try to complete battle and clan missions. It's best to find an active clan and farm weekly rewards together with them. There's a lot of interesting stuff there including X3 multipliers which often drop from clan mission containers. They will help you quickly farm experience for a new tank. Here's another piece of advice on how to quickly progress through multiple tanks. Play in game modes like Uprising, Burning Games and Big Boss. In these modes, thanks to abilities, you can deal a lot of damage, and even if you lose, you'll still earn a significant amount of experience both regular and free. In some modes, there's an opportunity to heal teammates, so if you feel that dealing a lot of damage is not your strong suit, load up on high explosive shells and go heal your teammates. You'll receive even more experience for that than for damage. In addition to all these tips, you should focus on progressing through only one branch at a time. Don't abandon the progression halfway and start working on another branch. Sit down and think carefully about which tier 10 tank you definitely want. I will make several videos soon about which branches are worth pursuing and which ones are not. Subscribe so you don't miss them. The video is coming to an end and I want to mention that if you combine all the methods mentioned above, the effect will be even stronger. For example, if you earn X5 multipliers in a game mode with a premium account and boosters, you can earn up to 30,000 experience in a single battle. Thank you once again for reaching 1,000 subscribers. I love you all. See you in the next video. Goodbye.